guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to use the heading element from WP Bakery WordPress plugin into a simple, fast and effective method. Continue, please, take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours, you have no idea how much it helps. So let's get this started. First thing, go to WordPress dashboard, review the left sidebar of menus and make sure that you have installed the latest version of WP Bakery Page Builder plugin, okay? If you don't know how to update your plugin, how to install your plugin, let me know in the comments so I can help you. After this, go to your WordPress dashboard, review left sidebar menus and hover over the section where you would like to apply your heading element. For example, imagine the following scenario. I'm going to be to page, add new page, and I would like to create a simple page. Simple. I'm gonna click into the WP Bakery button on the Gutenberg editor in order to open this editor right here. And then I'm gonna have three options. Go back to Gutenberg editor, front end editor, works like Elementor or back end editor. It shows the structure of your page into this editor screen. And if you go to the live view, you can see the results. I'm gonna use the back end after, okay? Hit the, the full layout or blank layout up to your needs, okay? One have menu and footer, others don't, okay? And for this page, I would like to create a simple layout, okay? So I want an image. So I would like to have a text block with some content on it, just like this. I would like to have two columns into the same second column, I would like to click into the plus button in order to open up the elements. You scroll it down until you find the image one, can be single image, single image. Select your image. This is just one example, okay, you can create the layout that you want. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna make it with an illustration, okay? Then, here is the result we got text and image. First thing, let me make this image a little bigger. You can type thumbnail or you can type, for example, full, just like this. Then let's review again. Seems like there's something missing, don't you think? What is? Is the heading. A page without heading, it's a quite there's the organized page, okay? So let's learn how to apply headings on our WP Bakery page builder. First, we're gonna need to click into this plus button. Of course, you can click into any plus button to load up and to apply elements, but I would like to apply the heading between the top of my page and this text. So I'm gonna find the plus button between the top of my page and this text that is right here. Then all I have to do is review the upper right corner of my screen into the search field type heading, just like this. Here is the one that I'm looking for, the custom heading. Then this is a custom heading element. You can change this text for the text that you want. You can apply a new L for your text. You can change the tag. Age 1, true, 3, 4, 5, 6, P and D. You can align the text to left, to right, to center or just phi. You can change the font size of your text. We're gonna change this later. The line H2, text color. Use theme the full font family, up to you. If you select yes, this field for selecting font will disappear. If you don't select yes, you can choose from this amount of fonts. Font style, CSS animations, element ID and CSS class. Let's review the results we're getting. 
So this is a heading. Let me click into this plus this edit icon right here into the raw where we have our columns in order to open the design settings of this tab and applying some heading, some padding to top, just like this. Just to apply some space between the logo type and this heading, just like this. Looks good. In the case that you like this custom heading, you can click right here to copy or to duplicate, drag by clicking on it and drop in the place that you want. Same result for the text. Well, here's the result we got. Excellent. Now, let's play a little bit with this. First, let me change the font family. And let me change the color. There is a very good amount of colors to play in a color selector. And here is the result we're getting. We have the design options where we can apply border style, border colors, radios, and box for spacing. Let me apply a link so you can see how it works. Just like this. Let me show you. This is now a hyperlink. Simple, easy and very, very effective. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to choose the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out our Borderless WordPress plugin to gain widgets, elements, templates and tools to build up your site to the Elementor, WP Bakery or Gutenberg Block Editor. And it's a totally free WordPress plugin. In addition, we have the best free WordPress theme that gives you pre-built websites, that is our Enzu WordPress theme. All can be downloaded for free. In addition, in the case that I would like to submit your blog or to publish some content on some other blogs or to connect with a growing blogging community, to old trash, for marketing, for collaboration, go to growth3w's.net and review the platform. You can submit and find sites for free. Talking about free things, we have the sites.gallery website, a place where we can promote your site, your apps, your games, your landing pages, your stores, and all it's free as well. And finally, in the case that you want to go premium when doing your site, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass and unlock full access to our entire templates library with hundreds of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click. In addition for premium themes, plugins, options, icons, images, and many, many more content for you to create the site of our dreams and to use internet on your site's favor. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best.